<clears throat> all right y'all back welcome back to the tech insights with dylan white um i wanted to take friday afternoon and figure out if i could pass one of these new microsoft applied skills challenges in less than an hour so let's pick one and see if i can if i think i can grab one of these real quick and walk you guys down through my my preparation for for one of them right so if you guys haven't heard microsoft applied skills challenges are basically role-based project-based skills with labs that are verifiable credentials right they basically says i can do x thing that microsoft says and employee learners want you to be able to do right so when we look at this list of you know browse credentials right for microsoft learn right now there's eight credentials and after microsoft's large conference microsoft ignite in a couple weeks we're going to announce five or six more credentials um some in the ai space and then a few other project oriented ones geared towards professionals that are looking upskill and so when we look at these eight results that exist today the ones that kind of jump out at me right away obviously from a security perspective are configuring sim security operations using microsoft sentinel configure secure access to your workloads using azure networking uh, securing storage for Azure files and Azure Blob storage, or secure Azure services with in workloads with Microsoft Defender for Cloud regulatory compliance. Um, and also, what you can see is that you can add those credentials directly to Microsoft Learn via collection. Uh, for those that don't know about Microsoft Learn, collections allow you to go directly to your collections area and start studying instead of having to come back and look for them again. Um, I'm a big fan of Defender for Cloud and Sentinel, so I'll probably pick one of those two. Thinking for the time to set aside, I'm probably going to look at Defender for Cloud. So let's see. Right, it jumps you into this um, secure Azure services and workloads with Defender for Cloud regulatory compliance controls. Right? Levels intermediate, products are Defender for Cloud and Azure, security subject, administrator role. You can get a little bit of overview right, to earn this applied skills credential. Learners will demonstrate the ability to implement regulatory compliance controls as recommended by the Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark. Candidates for this credential should be familiar with the Azure Infrastructure Services platform as a service, and they should have experience with security capabilities in Azure along with a working knowledge of regulatory compliance standards. We have to configure the Microsoft Defender for Cloud, implement just in time virtual machine access, implement a login and alert workspace. Mitigate network security tasks, mitigate data protection risks, mitigate endpoint security risks, and mitigate posture and vulnerability management risks. Um, and they also allow you to, you know, have modules right away. You know, secure access services work with Microsoft Azure Cloud for regulatory compliance. Those are your learning paths. Six modules, um, which equates out to just over three hours and 47 minutes of what they say you should learn. Right, so you can save that learning path. Right, some things you should learn around it is filter network traffic with the network security group, create log analytics, right? So we need to do that, set up Defender for Cloud, configure and integrate a log analytics agent and workspace in Defender for Cloud, configure Key Vault, and connect Azure SQL using an Azure private endpoint using the Azure portal. Right? We have two hours, it's an interactive lab, it'll take a few minutes to load. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna save the collection just in case we don't pass. So I'm gonna save it. Um, as you can see I have a few of them. Uh, this is going to be the Defender for Cloud. Let's drop a picture of Cloud. Let me change it to Storm Cloud if I don't pass. Um, and we'll call it Defender for Cloud. Cloud skills. Make it public. And we'll just you know, we'll save it and see what happens. Alright. Cool. Alright. All right, guys, I recorded this results after I went and did some shopping. So I kind of rushed through this exam just to kind of get you guys a feel of what's on the exam, um, right? And so it's kind of on those credential labs, right? And so this one obviously is for securing Azure services workloads, obviously, right? I failed, so we're gonna make a little storm cloud on my Microsoft Learn profile. Um, got 50% and it said you needed a 70% on the original um, exam criteria page, but you actually need just a 66%. I'll show you why in just a second. Um, obviously, 50%. So I got half of them right. I was able to mitigate endpoint security risks. I wasn't able to mitigate network security risks. I was able to configure Microsoft Defender for Cloud, mitigate data protection risks, mitigate posture and vulnerability management risks. I wasn't able to do it. I wasn't able to implement the log analytics workspace. I was able to implement just in time the MXs. 
Um, what I will say about setting up the lab and making sure right, I, that you know the material, I would go through the collection of the Microsoft Mark. I definitely prepare properly, right? Um, but if you have the time, right? Like if you're just doing this just to show that you know what to do, go do the question, you'll learn it, you should pass it. Um, right? None of these are going to throw you over the top for getting a job, right? Like you no know Microsoft partner uh, in the space if you're looking to get into consulting is looking at these yet, right? But what I will say is it's something you can go put on your LinkedIn profile, it's something you can throw on your resume as a project, it's something that can get your toes dipped into what you kind of objectives and projects you can do inside Microsoft, right? Security and some certain things you definitely would do in the security space, right? Like implementing Defend for Cloud is something a lot of customers might do, right? Um, mitigating endpoint security risks is super important. Mitigating network security risks is also very important. Data protection risks, right? And so what I will say is that you are doing something in this lab, you are definitely doing something that's a very real world, right? Very real world scenario. Um, so it's very good to understand. I would say when taking the exam, it's very slow. The lab environment was ridiculously slow, even for standard speed of Microsoft Azure. Um, I would recommend if I was going to do it all over again, I probably wouldn't configure the settings inside of Defender for Cloud. Um, there's one that you kind of have to wait on, which is the posture and vulnerability management risks. Um, those are done inside the recommendations in Defender for Cloud, so you kind of have to have everything available to you. Um, implement a login with workspace, I kind of disagree. I, I think I, I set it up right. Um, so that's an interesting one, but it kind of is what it is, right? So from taking it, it's only been out for what's two and a half days. Um, I think it's really gonna be great as they continue to make different evolutions of it and they keep making improvements. Um, I think it's really good for industry. I think it kind of sits in between the space of the fundamentals exams and administrator exams. I think it's, it does really well. It's sending you a little bit of part and sending you above and beyond and getting you on your way to practice. Um, and it's good, right? It's good for all of us to understand. I also think there's some good environments in there for you to learn, right? Azure SQL database protection. That they have on the test that I thought made a lot of sense. Setting up private network security network endpoints was pretty important. I think a lot of customers are starting to start looking at those. Um, obviously, just in time, VM access has been out for a really long time and it's really important to know a uh, pro tip on that. Make sure you take a look at your network security groups and if they're set up in the lab. So, that being said, if you have if you do fail, you have to wait 72 hours before you can retake it. So, obviously 72 hours, three days, I probably won't take this again until Tuesday. Um, take it again, and I'll show you guys those results. But once again, this is the Microsoft Applied Skills for Defender for Cloud. And until next time, see you guys tomorrow.